Hi, so as you can see, I am set up for nail art. I'm going to try out fluid art for the first time. And I always like to start out by saying what is on my nails. Right now I am wearing Cuticula's Unbirthday from the June 2024 subscription box. I'm actually doing a triplet mani with my friends here on YouTube and Instagram. Tiffany Ford and Nerd Loves Nails, and I will put their links in the description so that you can check them out. So I am do I did the DIY fluid art base. I have this um, full bottle of Orly top coat, and then I ordered the fructose anti-frizz serum it only takes a tiny bit I actually haven't tried it yet but I just put like one little drop in the um, top coat not even like a full pump this is a pump top I didn't even do a full pump I just did like one tiny drop because I can always put in more but it'll be hard to balance it out <laughs> if I have too much of the hair serum in there I'm going to use these three colors. They're from the um, Cloudscape Color Pass. I just thought that they would contrast well, but still try and look good together. And they are Take Flight, Indigo Skies, and Stratosphere. So I'm going to change to a top-down perspective with my camera. And I'm just using this little silicone mat. It came in a six pack from Amazon. So first I'm gonna put down the base. And I've watched some people do fluid art, but this is my first time trying it. So hopefully it works out. Um, I've watched Fanatic here do some fluid art on Twitch and the other channel that I watch that sometimes does fluid art is um, Colette and her channel is called Simple Little Pleasures and I will also link um, their channels in the description as well. So the idea is to get these little, like they're called cells, so they'll almost look like bubbles. So I'm just going to put drops around of every color and I will want them to eventually mix. I think it's good that they're spreading out. I think that means that I got oops, a decent, <laughs> I, that I got about the right amount of um, hair serum to base. So that was Stratosphere. Let's put on some Indigo Skies. is going to um, contrast really well with them. Okay, and then, as Linnery would say, you make them kiss. So we're going to kind of just fold it a little bit and smoosh it around a bit. I don't seem to be getting cells, but I am getting like kind of a fun swirl pattern. Maybe I didn't spread it quite enough before I made them guess. Okay, I guess I am getting a few little cells up there. So 
but you know, once again, it's my first time trying this. And then we just let it dry for a long time. <laughs> um, I'll probably let it dry overnight. And then I will peel it up and I'll basically use them like decals. I think this will be enough for one hand. Maybe I should do a second one just in case. Yeah, I think I'll do a second one. So we'll set that down to dry. Here, we'll be able to see it pretty well on the blue, I think. This time I'm going to kind of um, let it drip a bit more, like before I start really smooshing it. Tell me in the comments what shapes you see and I will do a psychological evaluation based on that. I'm just kidding. I will not be doing an impact test on anybody. Oh, there we go. It'll focus. I think I'm going to get more cells in this one. Yeah, maybe the first one I should have let it spread out longer okay i'm gonna let that one dry too and tomorrow i will come back and finish the video see you soon okay so these are the first two that i made i've just peeled them off of the silicone mats they seemed a little bit thick and also i wasn't expecting the bottoms to look that much different from the tops so I made two more just in case. Oh, my cats are playing in the background. Um, and they're a little bit thinner, but again, the bottoms look different. And I'm not sure if that's good, bad, indifferent. And I have my left hand prepped. I'm going to do both hands, but just for the video, I'm going to do my left hand. I'm going to have my thumb and my ring finger as accent fingers. Oops. I've already kind of smushed my thumb. Um, I could probably fix that later. And so the three that I'm going to put the um, fluid art decals on, I have one coat of Stratosphere, which is the lightest color I used. My middle finger has a patch on it, which is why it has that funky texture right now, but I think it'll get totally covered up by the um, fluid art. So I'm just gonna pick kind of three spots that I like and make them kind of fingernail size and shape. The other thing I am doing to prep is I'm gonna put um, Bonder base coat on and let it get dry enough to just be tacky. Okay, so I'm going to want to make it a little bit bigger than my fingernail. So I'm going to cut this spot right here. It's going to go over my index finger. Maybe. I maybe made it too small. I might need to put it on my pinky instead. I guess this is going to go on my pinky instead. So I 
putting it and flattening it on the middle first and then going outward to try and not get any wrinkles which I might get anyway but we'll start in the middle and then go out and just try and flatten it on because the fonder base is on there and it's pretty sticky And then I can cut it kind of around where my fingernail ends so I don't have too much to be working with. Okay, I've got a few little lumps there. Try and fix it. And here I have just acetone. I'm going to take a cleanup brush and I'm going to go around the edges and it'll kind of melt away the part of the polish that I don't actually want. And should kind of seal it onto my nail as well. There we go, there's the first one. And it has some of those fun little cells. Oops, I don't know what I did to my lighting there. There we go. Okay, so now let's do the middle finger and index finger. two of them and now my middle finger and then we'll top coat them Got some wrinkles on this one and it looks like I'm getting wrinkles on this one. I maybe need to watch a few more people and work on my technique for not getting these like folds and wrinkles. Although I think a thick coat of top coat will disguise them pretty well.
across the middle finger because it's time to top coat. I'm just using, let's see, I'm using, this is the Orly Polished All-in-One Ultimate Top Coat. I don't know, it has a long description right there on the front. Um, I got it as like a gift with purchase at some point. So I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup and then top coat. my pinky turned out best but I'm pretty happy with it especially since this is my first time doing fluid art and I will do my right hand and then I'll post some pictures I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time bye